Good day, everyone! Today, I would like to discuss the things I learned about mixtures and their characteristics. What is formed when two or more substances like coffee powder, water, and sugar are combined? When you mix coffee powder, water, and sugar together, you form a mixture. Mixtures can be heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures. When hot water is poured into the mixture and is mixed well, it becomes homogeneous because the components of mixtures cannot be identified when dissolved in hot water. Another example for homogeneous mixtures are alcohol, soy sauce, and fruit juices. How about pizza? Is it an example of a homogeneous mixture? It's a big no! Pizza is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Why is it classified as such? It's because you can still see all of the ingredients mixed together. So therefore, a heterogeneous mixture is a composition of mixtures that are visible or can be seen by the naked eye. Another example for heterogeneous mixtures are macaroni salad, ginataang gulay, and halo-halo. And now, let's move to solution, suspension, and colloids. Now, we're going to do an experiment so that we will know how to differentiate the kinds of mixtures using their distinguishing characteristics. In a solution, one spoon of salt and glass of water. Let's mix and stir. See, the additive is dissolved and thoroughly mixed into the main component, in which the salt is the solute and the water is the solvent. Water is a universal solvent. In suspension, we have here flour and water. Add the flour into the glass of water and stir a bit. As we can see, the particles are easily seen by the eyes because the flour does not really fully dissolve in water. The fine solid particles just float or are suspended in water. See, because they exhibit Brownian movement. It is the movement of particles suspended in a liquid or gas. So therefore, flour and water is a suspension. Okay, let's try another one. How about milk? Add the milk into the glass of water and stir a bit. Do you know that even if a glass of milk is left untouched, the particles in it will not settle at the bottom of the glass? See, because the dispersed particles are small enough to remain dispersed. It is colloids. Try to use a flashlight to shine light through the side. Can you see a beam of light through the glass? As we observed, it is called Tyndall effect. It is scattering of light by the colloidal particles. And now, I am going to show you what are the ways of separating mixtures and their techniques, depending on the type or kind of mixture that you have. Hand picking or physical manipulation is a technique used in separating the solid components of a heterogeneous mixture, like picking money or rotten fruits in the basket. Number two, sieving, is used when two or more components of different sizes are separated from mixture by using a strainer. Example, in baking, my mother uses a strainer to separate the fine and big particles of flour or sugar. The use of magnets, how will you separate the pins from the soil? Of course, by using a magnet, because metals are attracted to magnets. Therefore, this is a good way of separating metals to non-metals. Evaporation is a technique of separating soluble solids from liquids through heating, like the mixture of soil and water. Infiltration, a technique which an insoluble solid is separated from the liquid. By this, it uses filter-like cloth or filter paper to separate solid components from the liquid. Decantation is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a denser one. 
in the process of decantation, the mixture is left undisturbed. Like the mixture of an oil and water. The water at the bottom while the oil flows on top. In distillation, this is a process of separating liquids from a solution. So, distillation is used in producing pure water, distilled water, and ethanol or alcohol. In winnowing, our farmers use this method to remove the brown shells called hop and to get only the rice on the winnowing basket in order to completely separate the hulls from the rice grains. And now, we learned that we can separate mixtures based on the forms of mixtures. And that's all for now. This is Micaela B. Mascardo saying, It's better to learn slowly than to not learn at all. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.